Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for September. Okay, so we're just going to see what comes up. Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you. So we got a couple cards that are just a flying right out, so something is happening, probably spontaneously, and that one wants to come too. So anyway, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for at any time in September. What do we have for Aries? First card. We'll start with the first card that came out. It was Caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. You know, caterpillars turn into beautiful butterflies, so you are probably going through some sort of transformation. Mm, this is the second one that fell out. Bat. Take care. Enemies are working against you. Door. Opportunities are waiting for you. So there's an opportunity that is waiting for you. Things will not always be this way. You are going through a transformation. I'm just going to shuffle, then I'm going to turn that off. So what do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? September. We got three cards, I think, that fell out four. <laughs> increase in money so there's gonna but you have to go through that new door right you have to go through that and I know that you do I know that you do ah the outside looks grand but the inside is a mess so I don't know what is going on at the right place at the right time you may have been at the right place at the right time. Maybe you're going to find yourself at the right place at the right time. Oh my goodness. Taurus. Taurus. Well, let's get one of these. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. There's an opportunity that is waiting for you. you know, I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus, but Taurus is an earth sign that is very focused on their money. It is mirroring that increase in money card. Um, there is an enemy that is working against you, so you need to be careful. What do we have for Aries? Oh. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And, you know, when I get this card, people don't understand. This could be a past life connection. You know, we have multiple lifetimes. We come back again and again and again to learn our lessons. So this, is a, this could be a past life connection. There's probably going to be a reconciliation with somebody. Something to do with wedding. This situation involves marriage. Mm. I don't know. So what do we have for Aries? Maybe you're reconciling with a Taurus or somebody it could be a Taurus cusp. Um, at the right place, at the right time. There's going to be an increase in money. Things are about to change. You're about to go through a transformation. You're going to be going through a new doorway. I know somebody is going to write down below, I don't want the past back. I don't either. But there is past life connections. Okay? So keep that in mind. Be open-minded. <laughs> of 
Queen of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. So this is this is destiny. This is destined. This is fate. This is meant to be. This is fortune. It's a reward. You have an earth sign here. I don't know if it's a Taurus. It looks like it's a Taurus, but it, I mean, I suppose it doesn't have. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody that is solid, stable, secure, hardworking, devoted, financial, uh, financially set. This could be a businesswoman, homemaker, um, nurturing, grounded, down to earth, laid back. Um, you may be getting an offer. Some of you may be taking on this energy where you're really focusing. You're focusing on your money. You're focusing on your security. But this is a positive change. This is a change. Okay, this is going in a new direction. This is the wheel of fate spinning you in a new direction. This is very fortunate. Okay, this is a fortunate um, change of events. Okay. Very positive change. This is good luck. This is luck that is on your side. The Queen of Pentacles. She's, I don't know if this is, it appears that it's a person in your life. If it's not, it could be your energy, but this person has stability, has security, has something of value. The moon in your past. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Moon, all is not as it seems. There's some sort of secrets here. Somebody is keeping some secrets. page of coins in the future that is a new prospect it's a new endeavor it's a new doorway that is opening that leads to stability that leads to security you are receiving a secure offer from somebody it feels like it's an earth sign this is somebody that um, is giving you an opportunity to go down a new path that leads to prosperity this is a new project, a new endeavor. It's a gift. Hmm. Four of Wands reversed underneath that Moon card. Knight of Swords reversed. Seven of Swords. So Four of Wands reversed. I don't know if you are in a commitment with somebody right now that is keeping some secrets. The Four of Wands reversed. That is a commitment. This is not happy. Okay, it's not happy. This is uh, family arguments, family discord, uprooting, uh, letting yourself go. It feels like this is a messy situation. You know, it may have something to do with the home, uprooting. I already said that, right? Uprooting the home, fear, fear of uprooting, fear of leaving everything behind. Um, you do have a stable opportunity here that is being given to you. I think that you're thinking about it with the Seven of Swords next to that Page of Pentacles that is like planning. There's planning here. Pl maybe somebody is planning an escape or they're planning on taking a new opportunity, but there's some sort of fear because the moon is fear, okay? The moon is fear. I feel like there's a lack of support or there's a lack of success. There's a failing commitment or a, 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 a fail failing to achieve success with the Four of Wands reverse. There's some, there could be some addictions here or there's some sort of illusion. The moon is illusion. There's something that you're not seeing very clearly. I feel like there's a lack of teamwork with somebody that you're with. You know, they may not be putting in much effort. They may be, um, I don't know what this is with the moon reverse. There's some sort of illusion. There's some sort of confusion. Somebody's hiding something. That's what you're in your home. I don't know if you're living with somebody that is hiding something that is very, very secretive. Something about money. You could be dealing with somebody that is very greedy, that is very selfish, that is hiding money. This is my third Aries reading. I tried to do two last night, but I decided to do it over because I looked like shit. So anyhow, I feel like there is some sort, of, some sort of trouble in paradise. I'm not sure if it's somebody that you live with with that Four of Wands reverse. It may have been going on for a while. You may be wanting to move on, but there's maybe there's some financial issues. Maybe you don't know your value. Maybe you don't, you don't feel like you have enough to offer somebody else. Um, there's fear here. There's fear. I feel like you are... 
Seven of Swords is logic, using logic, planning, you know, wanting stability. I feel like you're really, really uh, trying to reason things, you know, trying to use reason. Uh, planning, planning something, planning your next path, planning your next project. You're trying to, but there's some sort of delay with the Knight of Swords reverse. It's like there's a delay in things taking off because there's some sort of illusion here. I feel like there's definitely... Uh, if with the Four of Wands reverse, that's like nothing to celebrate. There's nothing to celebrate. I don't know if you, you, there's been like a broken engagement or I don't know, maybe you're engaged to somebody and there's, or you've been married to somebody and it's not working out with the Four of Wands reverse. There's definitely illusion here. There's, there's fantasy illusion with the moon. All is not as it seems. There is something that is hit. Somebody is hiding money that you live with. Anyhow, it's like, or somebody is putting no effort in. They're putting no effort into the relationship. There's probably some family arguments here. There's definitely some sort of deception with the Seven of Swords. And the Knight of Swords reverse, an untrustworthy individual. Um, it feels like you're in no hurry to go down a new path. There's fear in the way. Two of Swords, torn in two different directions. Judgment, making a judgment call in the future. Death. Death, that's a major transformation. This is the end of things, a separation, a loss. Making a judgment call, uh, ending things. Making a choice. I think that you've been torn. You've been torn in two different directions. You have some sort of loyalty to somebody that you've been committed to. This is somebody that is very... Um, I don't know. It's like some sort of fantasy. It's some sort of illusion. You've been committed to it. It's like you haven't been seeing very clearly that it's like the shadow because the moon is, you know, it's the shadow. It puts out a shadow. What you see is not what you get. You are definitely, definitely been in some sort of state of illusion, not seeing some sort of truth, but you're dealing with an untrustworthy individual. And I feel like with the judgment card, there's some sort of truth being revealed. This is definitely the end of things with the death and judgment card. That is the end of things. This is a transformation. It's a life-changing decision, making a judgment call. Um, seeing the truth you've been in denial about, you have been in denial about something. I feel like you've known the truth, but you've been in denial about the truth because maybe fear, fear of uprooting, fear of moving, fear of not being accepted. Um, making a judgment call based on the truth, the end, we have a separation here, loss, with it, we've been ending with a new beginning to follow. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is definitely hiding something. There could be a thief. It could be a thief. Something, something about money. There could be cheating going on as well with the Seven of Swords. I'm not sure if somebody is cheating. I do believe that you are going to be making some sort of decision that you have been struggling to make. There's been a lot of fear, fear of going down that path. It's like there's an unclear and difficult path ahead and you like stability, right? You like to know. And I, but I feel like you've been in a situation that may have been safe and you've been torn going back and forth, probably blocking your emotions in some sort of serious turmoil about a change. Death is change. Caterpillar is change as well. So you are going through a major transformation. Judgment is a card of reconciliation with somebody from the past as well. So there is probably a reconciliation. It's a past life card, the judgment is. So I feel like you have a past life connection here that you may be reconciling with. You may not even know it though. You may not know it. Um, death, the end. The end of one life, the beginning of a new one. Final verdict. The trial is over. This is the end of a trial. It's the end. Making an escape. Going down a new path. Going down a path. Getting an opportunity. This is a new prospect. It's a new doorway. Going through a new door that leads to abundance. There is abundance here. There is somebody here that has something abundant for you but you need to come out of illusion you need to come out of fantasy and it may require uprooting with that four of wands reversed i feel like i feel like 
You may be in a temporary situation that really isn't making you happy and you've been torn with accepting change with that with that death card. This two of swords is torn, okay? Torn, it's like I'm, I don't really want, don't know what to do. This is a serious choice. You're sitting on the fence. It's a painful choice. It's a difficult decision. It's a stressful decision. And you need to face your fears. And I feel like facing your fears is the biggest problem here. Fear of change. That's just fear of change. But I feel like when you decide with the judgment card to be honest with yourself and make a judgment call, that's when something fortunate comes in because free will plays a part with that with that uh, Wheel of Fortune card. The Wheel of Fortune card is also an ending. It's the end of a chapter in your life. The wheel is spinning you towards something um, better, okay? But you have to choose to go in that direction. You can put your foot in the wheel or you, and you can stay in this unhappy situation that appears to be messy or you can honor your truth and make a decision based on the truth. But anyhow, Judgment is the end of things. It is a life-changing decision. Um, it's a wake-up call, an epiphany. You may be getting a wake-up call. You know, you're going through some sort of major change right now. Starting a new project as well. It's like starting a new project, starting a new endeavor, going down a new path. Setting new goals, using common sense, right? With that page of pentacles refocusing finding finding like your moral backbone to take charge and start over and i did see starting over in the other reading as well it's like because we had the tower which was starting over as from scratch you may be experiencing a major uproar in your life or an uprooting moving moving somebody is moving they're moving somewhere and i think there's resistance to that move because maybe where you're at it feels safe but there's disharmony there's disharmony you know you're unhappy where you are you're unhappy with the current circumstances um, and there's a lack of achievement with the four of wands reverse and there's a lack of achievement because of fantasy the moon card is fantasy it is illusion it's unable to see the truth because the shadow makes things out to be what they are not. I can make a duck on the wall with my fingers. It's actually my fingers. I also feel like you're going to be taking action. I feel like you're going to be taking soul action. You may be coming up with a plan right now. You know, this is risky. It is risky. I feel like you're going to be taking a big risk making a judgment call it's almost like i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready with the judgment card i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready to have prosperity i'm ready for change and i do think that you are ready for change but you have to you have to you have to get you need to get moving the knight of swords there's too much fear here there is too much there is too much fear two of swords is fear as well it's like you're letting your fear hinder your golden opportunity I feel like I feel like uh, you're gonna be investing in something new. You're gonna be getting an offer from somebody that you're reluctant to take by the looks of things, but I feel like you're really thinking about it. I do think you're gonna go down that path because the page of Pentacles is in the future. stomach if you hear my stomach I'm sorry there is somebody working against you <laughs> but you don't want to see it you don't want to believe it let's talk about your person six of coins three of swords reversed Ten of Swords reversed. One more card. Ten of Coins reversed. I feel like you live with somebody that is taking. They're taking. Are they taking money? Ten of Coins reversed. That's financial disaster. It's it's 
money hungry, marrying for money, getting in a relationship for money. This is as low as you can go with the Ten of Swords reversed right next to it. Three of Swords reversed. Leaving it behind, leaving it behind, leaving the home behind, leaving the money behind. This is somebody that is very greedy, very selfish, that wants all the money. Total ruin, total loss. Maybe that's why you're staying, because you've, you've invested so much. You're dealing with somebody that has, I feel like they've, there's a lot of pain with the Ten of Swords reversed. A lot of pain, extremely painful. All about the money. I, it's, what the fuck? Sorry. This is, this is suffering financially. You're, this is financial struggle. It really, really is. This is like uh, beyond help, chronic problems. This is a financial disaster. It's fighting over money, marrying for money. It's, it's like family feuds. It's false impressions, living beyond means, overspending, losing it all. You know, unstable business or home life. This is like beyond help. I, you may, I don't know if you're in some sort of foundation with somebody or you've been with somebody that is very unstable. Mentally unstable, financially unstable. They spend, they overspend, they, and they don't care who they hurt. This person may be hurting so bad over a previous loss that they don't care who they hurt. All this person cares about is receiving the money and they don't care who they hurt. I do feel like you're reflect reflecting. I feel like you're going down a new path. I feel like you're going through some a period of awakening, honestly. You're going you are going through a transformation. Things are going to get better. Some of you may be going it alone, especially with the 7 of swords as well. You may be deciding to go down your own path, go your own way, you know, definitely taking a time out to reflect on your decisions, planning a new new uh future. It's like focusing planning What's the word for it? Setting new goals. Re-identifying yourself. Soul searching. Going within. Taking a time out from the world. Going through a transformation. Uprooting. I feel like you're definitely doing some planning as well. It's like planning your next move. There's definitely some financial struggle and a lot of pain here. And I feel like whoever you with, are with really isn't contributing. There's a lot of fighting over money. All they care about is the money. Or, or some of you may have something to do with a home. It's like you invested in a home and now it's all gone. This is a complete loss and there's a lot of suffering, you know, that you have to move on from this. You may have wasted a lot of money or you got, and now it's like this is a wake up call. It's like, boom, this was a eye opener. It was a huge, I wasted so much time. I wasted so much money on this home and now I got nothing to show for it because of some, I feel like, you're dealing with a money-hungry individual who has taken it all because this person had no conscience and it's time to move on, but <laughs> you may have found yourself at the right place at the right time, but you've already invested so much and starting over from scratch, well, that sucks.
some of you are, are in the process of re-identifying yourself and I feel like it's 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 rough it hurts it's painful you know realizing the truth realizing that you know you gave to something and it feels like it's over now it's over right but endings lead to new beginnings they do that's the death card that is a transformation it's a it's a profound life change mirroring the death card is the queen of pentacles so right above the death card is the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles is solid stable secure hard working business oriented devoted nurturing so there is somebody here that has something for you that can help you on this path. It's just like they're giving you an offer. They're giving you something. Take it. So yeah, you're going to be receiving an opportunity from somebody. It is in the future. I feel like this is somebody that you are very familiar with. This is somebody, I could be somebody from a past life. There could also be somebody here that is slipping away. They're slipping away from you. There is slipping away. Whether you're slipping away or they're slipping away, somebody is taking an offer, whether it's you or them. Good luck.